Hi, Corey here for another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with the one of the co-founder. Uh, uh, I was going to say the founder, but then <laughs> I think maybe there would be people that would be upset with that. So, <laughs> Probably. So the the pr the primary founder <laughs> of Mesosphere. Uh, I'm here actually in their offices, so um, uh, outside of Microsoft, to talk a little bit about what they're doing and what's exciting uh, about uh, the Mesosphere stack and Mesos and Marathon and DCOS and all the, all the goodies. So uh, Ben, sorry, I didn't introduce him as Ben Hyman. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, uh, what and what you're doing here. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. Uh, so Ben Heinemann, one of the co-founders of Mesosphere and uh, one of the co-creators of the Apache Mesos project, um, which is uh, uh, a you know, large-scale distributed system used by a bunch of organizations yeah. like um, uh, Twitter and Airbnb and Netflix and Apple and a bunch of these companies. Right. And um, what we're doing here is we're basically taking Apache Mesos and um, we're building what's called the, the DCOS or the Data Center Operating System around and, and, and on top of Mesos. Um, and you know, kind of giving people the experience of being able to run uh, their data center like it's one big computer. Right. <laughs> and if right. you've got one big computer, which is all these resources in your data center, you really need something like an operating system to help you manage the applications that you're trying to run on top and manage all the all the machines that happen to be in the data center. And so that's what we're building here, the, the Mesosphere Data Center Operating System. Um, and uh, you know it's it's going to be used both in the cloud, where you just got a whole bunch of machines in the cloud, and it can also be used in an on-premise environment when you just got a whole bunch of machi <laughs> physical machines that are actually actually in a data center. Right, right. And one of the benefits is the ability to span across those multiple environments and treat them all as one. Uh, yeah. And so being able to deploy. Um, you mentioned sort of the the application deployment. You know, one of the things that I've been pretty impressed with is the wide range of applications people are deploying yeah. on top of Mesos. And yeah. So some of the examples have been pretty impressive. Like, what would you say sort of the most common ones you're seeing? Yeah, I mean, the I, I, there's really kind of like two big big areas that are, are really focused. And there's a bunch of things in each of the areas. Yeah. And, and the two really big ones are one um, analytics. There's mm -hmm. a ton of folks that are doing a bunch exactly. of analytics. And, yeah. and when you think about it, a lot of these analytics stacks are actually really complicated to yeah. set up. So um, if we can make that significantly easier, then right. an organization can say, you know what, I want to try out this thing called Spark. I don't know, you know right. exactly what it's about. I want to try it out. And it would be great if I could just show up and type DCOS install Spark in the same way that on a single machine you can, you know, on a Linux machine you can do something like yum install or, right. or you know, dpackage get or whatever you want exactly. to do. Exactly. And you can just get that. You get the application, then you can just start kicking the tires. And you don't have to go, you know, find machines and like get the machines configured and do all other pieces. There's just resources out there you can run the applications. And so, so Spark's a big one. And then in the analytics space, um, there's this, there's now uh, basically a whole stack that's being created. It's right. got it's got acronyms. There's the some people call it the Mark stack, Mesos, Akka, React, Kafka, Spark. I was gonna say Kafka. We've seen a lot of a yeah, lot of Kafka. Exactly, yeah, yeah, Kafka's exactly, another yeah. big one. Yeah. And some people call it the um, the Smack stack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like Spark, Mesos, Akka, Cassandra. Cassandra's in there, Kafka, yes, of course. Kafka, of course. Kafka, yeah. yeah, all right. Oh, that's awesome. It's the Smack stack. Okay, it's just smack stack. Yeah. yeah, I don't know which one's the, the more appropriate one to really it's, talk I, about. Both sound very appropriate <laughs> to me. <laughs> smack stack, I like that. Okay, yeah, great. I'm going to yeah. start using that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, 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 so in, in, in that realm, I think we have, you see a lot of, of those, those types, of, types of services being run. And then in the other realm, you see, um, you know, just folks that are just trying to run run their containers. Yeah. You know, they're they're they've got, uh, you know, your 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 service company, your company, which have a, has a bunch of services, whether it's people writing like ASP.NET apps, or it's people writing Java apps, or Scala apps, or Ruby apps, or you know, whatever it is. Right. And now they're containerizing all those apps, and now they just want to deploy them and run them run right. them in the data center, right. and that's really the other big big focus area we see. And so, uh, and and so that that's any kind of apps. In fact, we've even seen people. Containerize legacy applications yeah. like My, MySQL and right. Postgres, and, and 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 we'll end up running and scheduling those. And they're a lot harder to schedule. So right. there's a lot a lot of work that we're doing to to, to make that work really effectively. Right. But um, yeah. That's, yeah. that's really the spectrum. It's a big spectrum. It's a big spectrum. Yeah, it's basically computing. <laughs> it's <'cause>, exactly. <laughs> Which all of course comes back to the whole the whole goal of being operating. System, that's exactly right. right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And you, I mean, you guys have a gigantic scale, right? I mean, yeah. you've been able to you've been able to scale to ridiculous levels. I yeah. Mean, it's, 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 so. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's. I mean, that's 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 one of the things from from the early days when when we were first first architecting the system, um, we we knew that. If you're going to be something like a data center operating system, you got to scale to data centers, That's right. which is which which can be huge. Um, and so we, we we spent a lot of time thinking about what the architecture of the system should look like so we could scale. Yeah. Um, and then uh, some of the earliest users of, of the technology, Twitter, uh, they were a great use case for this. You know, they run 
very large clusters. Probably, probably stressful at times. <laughs> in yeah. the early days, yes, yeah. very, very yeah. stressful. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, when failures occurred. Uh, yeah. um, they have your cell phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have my cell phone. Yeah. The CEO would uh, would walk by and, yeah. and stand and wonder, you know, yeah. <laughs> when things are getting fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ben. People can't tweet, you know. Yeah, exactly. Not. This, is, but, this uh, is a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I have that experience with some folks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so, but, 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 but the, the, you know, the, 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 that's one of the best parts about the technology is, is that we have been able to run it at extreme scale, yeah. um, and and that really hardens the technology. And so customers can say, you, you know, you know, users can say, if we're going to take this thing on, this is like running our company, right? right? So this needs to scale and it needs to be robust. And it needs to run everything. It needs to run, yeah, it needs to run everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so having that, having that, that. Um, technology actually run in those environments is, is pretty critical to, yeah. to our success. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, th I think it's really exciting. Some of the things that I've heard sort of customers get really excited about when they're when they're looking at is that interchangeability, right? It's the whole, the basically the entire deployment is treated all as one, yeah. right? Yeah. And the ability yeah. to sort of one day be running Kafka and then yeah. the next day move to Spark yeah. is just, what, yeah. what, a, what a cool yeah. sort of easy way to go manage what yeah. used to be a pain in the ass. Totally, totally. Sorry, I'm not, am I, are we allowed to say ass? <laughs> we'll bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I, you're, you're you're totally right. I mean, I mean, um, the the holy grail from my perspective. I, you take something like a cell phone, right? And you want to try an app on a cell phone. Right. You go to the app store, you click a button, the app shows up. You you run the app. Right. Right. You don't like the app. You delete the app. You right. try you try another that's one. Right, right? That's you know? right. That's right. That's right. You the don't app, have to go buy a new phone. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> In the enterprise world. Yeah. You try. You want to try something out? Like good luck. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh, it's a little bit better with the cloud, but you're still just getting machines in the cloud. You still have the challenge of configure, exactly. set, set up. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. So, so to, to, to me, the holy grail is is that you can get an organization like again, I'll take a Twitter. Like Twitter goes and builds a new distributed system. They open source it. I want to make it as easy for you know another user in Mesos like Apple, right? To be able to just say, well, you know, that's really interesting. Let's try it out. We only want to give it. 300 CPUs worth of resources. We don't have to go pick the machines. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we just we want to give it. We want to try it out. We'll give it 300 CPUs of resources. Right. Figure out. Kick the tires. Yeah. Install it. Play with it. And then in uh, you know maybe a couple weeks of trying it out, other side. Yep. This is something we want to move scale into production. Up, we want to use it, scale it up. Or kill it. Who did? Yep, exactly. Very cool. Exactly. Very cool. Yep. That's yep. really really cool. Yep. And so um, you know one of the things obviously that was recently announced was uh, additional support for Windows yeah. as well, yeah. which is yeah. a super exciting thing. That's exactly and, right. Yeah. Uh, I'm typically not don't like to talk about Windows when I talk about <laughs> Azure, and I only talk about Linux. But yeah. uh, that's yeah. pretty exciting. A pretty exciting thing. Yeah. Well, on. you know, it turns out uh, a lot of Windows out there. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. turns out who knew? Apparently. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it, and 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 basically we had we had we had, we had organizations that were were at this hand, you know. The same way in which we got a bunch of these Java apps or these 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 dot these no, not dot net apps, you know, or or you no know, JS, whatever, yeah, yeah, no JS, whatever it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, we've got a bunch of dot net apps, or yeah. we got a bunch of of, of 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 things in in the Microsoft stack. Could could we launch the apps? Could we do that here too? Could we do that here exactly? Right. And um, uh, I mean, the, the obvious answer is of course. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. And and then we we started working with Microsoft, and 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 they said, yeah, you know, sure, um, I think that's a great idea. Let's let's make right. this happen. So. Um, one of the fun things about this is Microsoft has done this in a completely uh, open source way. So yeah. all of the Mesos running on Windows stuff is up in 100% in the open source community. Awesome. Yeah. That's super so, cool. Yeah. So uh, so customers out there that uh, <laughs> that have that have you know that are, that are paying for, for for their Windows licenses, they yeah. uh, they can actually take an open source project if they want, and and and, and they can use Mesos and, and 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 run their apps on Windows. And then you know for us of course it's well Mesos is one part, and then the DCOS is the rest of it. And right. so you can get the same DCOS experience experience regardless. So the management, using, the performance yeah, monitoring, yeah, 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 exactly. All that stuff, all that regardless of using Windows boxes or if you're using Linux boxes, or even better, if you're using both. Right. It's a different kind of hybrid. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different kind of exactly. heterogeneity. It's, it's right. both those things. I mean, yeah. it really does. It takes that concept of you can run any app yeah. further, right? Yeah. And it suddenly abstracts away the OS, and you don't have to care anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. really you're cool. Ju you're just running apps. And That's awesome. If you can do something better in the Windows environment, do it. If you can right. do something better in the Linux environment, do it. Do it. Love it. Run your application. Yeah. Yeah. I have one last question for you. All right. Okay. Purple. It is my favorite color, I will admit this. <laughs> it's, it, is your, it is the color of, of yeah, Mesosphere, yeah, as far yeah. as I understand, yeah, right? Yeah, or at yeah, least yeah. the logo. What, it's what it's one of the important ones, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> well, so, 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 so the, is there a story there? Yeah, well, so, okay. so, so the Mesosphere, the Mesosphere, the actual, you know, concrete Mesosphere, is at this layer in the, in the, the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Where you get some really beautiful colors. 
Oh, and you get these fun. like reds and, and oranges and purples, and you get that color. Wow. And so um, I didn't peg you to be so deep. This is nice. <laughs> was this all you, or was this? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I mean, or, I mean, who, it, who did this? It was, it was, it was. I think it was. Um, no, it was. It was. Yeah, it, was it, it wasn't us. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was John and you know, you, you know, yeah, yeah, John Ashton and our yeah, designers. Yeah. Okay. And, got it. Got it. Got it. Design guys. Yeah. Design okay, guys. You know, they, 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 but 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 it, we, the the value is is you can look at some really really cool pictures of the mesosphere. Like, it's beautiful, you know, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. extract out of that a really, really fantastic color palette. And that's, that's, uh, that's us. Yeah, that's great. Us. Yeah. I like that. So, <laughs> hey, Ben, thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thank and you, thank you for the, for enjoying. Of course, if you have questions, comments, you want additional follow-up, please, you can put them below. You can you can hit us up on Twitter. Um, you can also find us on Twitter at hashtag Azure TWC. That's short for Tuesdays with Corey, which is this show. So thanks again for your time, and thank you, Ben. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. A steady cam. The fly in? Use some of this. Am I supposed to start as soon as you get here? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it wasn't, this wasn't, this wasn't well organized. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Corey here for another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Mm -hmm.